a nation of raiders. It's a nation of raiders. We a nation of raiders. It's a nation of raiders. We a nation of raiders. It's a nation. Hello and welcome to this week's edition of Inbounds with the Oakland Raiders. I'm Lorelai Suarez, and today we sit down with Louisiana native and defensive tackle Justin Ellis. Hello Justin, everyone. thank you for taking the time to sit down and chat with us today. Thank you for uh, having me. I'm someone who's always been intrigued by nicknames and where they come from. Yeah. So let's start with yours. Your nickname is Jelly. Who gave you that nickname and where? what's the story behind it? Well, uh, my freshman year in high school, uh, my coach, um, I was the younger kid. I played as a freshman, played varsity ball. And um, my coach, he was just, it used to be Jelly Bean. He was just like, uh, you know what? I'm going to call you Jelly Bean. He never told me exactly why, you know. And then my teammates, they took it from the field and took it to school. And then from school to the city, then the city to like, you know. So it just followed me. And then, you know, once I got to college, you know, guys was like, no, nah, we're not going to call you Jelly Bean. So they just called me Jelly. Do they call you Jelly on this team? Mm -hmm. That's everybody, everybody calling me Jelly. Well, I like the nickname. Yeah. We always talk about Play 60 here on our show because it's a campaign that's supported by the NFL, and it's one that we think addresses an important issue, and that's for the need for young people to have an active and healthy lifestyle. Growing up in Louisiana, what were the activities that got you out of the house, got you active, and how do you feel that active lifestyle has positively impacted your life today? Well, first of all, I mean, if it wasn't for like the activities and stuff I did when I was younger, I probably wouldn't be here today, you know, cause like my family, really how I grew up, it was like, um, it was outdoors. Like we always did things outdoors. We, we did some kind of sport, even if we had to like play football with a shoe, you know, anything, anything, you know, so we always outside, you know, our mom just was like, you know, go outside until the street lights come on <laughs> yes. and, you know, be safe, you know, so that's what it was. You're a Louisiana boy through and through. You played high school ball at Neville High in Monroe, mm -hmm. and then later on you played college ball at Louisiana Tech. What was it like growing up in the South and getting to play football in Louisiana your whole life before coming to the Raiders? It's hot. It was real hot. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, it was, it, was, it was cool because, you know, I was around my family, um, and I got a big um, support group, you know, um, all the way up from five years old, YMCA ball, all the way up to college ball, you know, so. That was the fun part, but it was hot. I mean, we had some hot summers, but you know, that kind of stuff made me, you know, going through those kind of training camps, that made, you know, tough life, it, you know, it made me. California and Louisiana are such vastly different places, and the Bay Area, I'm sure you can attest, has its own unique identity. Yeah. I'm a San Francisco native, and I could never imagine leaving. When you were drafted to the NFL and finally had to leave your home state to come play for the Oakland Raiders, what was that transition like, and what are, some of the aspects of the local culture that you've come to appreciate the most now that you live here? Well, when I found out I was coming to California, I was, I was excited because, you know, I know California got sunny weather mostly, um, and it's cooler weather. So uh, my favorite part, you know, about the uh, Bay and about, you know, Oakland is the weather, you know, and uh, every day, even when I'm tired, or, you know, I'm down a little bit, when I come outside for practice and it look like this, you know, it just give me a boost. So coming out of Louisiana Tech, the NFL scouting report had this to say about you. Good anchor strength, is seldom inverted or moved off a spot, can stack the line and occupy blockers. Unlike a lot of other positions in the NFL, quarterback, wide receiver, running back, even cornerback, the value of a great defensive tackle often goes unnoticed and unappreciated. So let's educate our viewers. Can you speak to the duties of your position, why it's key in any successful defensive scheme, and what special skills you feel you bring to the role for the Oakland Raiders? Mm -hmm. Well, the only way it seems, well, it seems the only way people like really notice what we are doing is if we have sex, but it's more to sex, you know. Um, we got we to occupy more than one blocker, you know. Um, we got to be stout in the middle, Cause it's like it's a fight every you know every down it's a fight in the middle and um you know we just got to do the dirty work and we just get down and get dirty and you know if you're a football player you know our coaches they thank us every day but like some of the fans and and viewers they don't they don't really understand that part you know so because they might think my, my position is boring you're like oh you you always got two people on you you know so um but we just do the dirty, dirty work and um that, that type of things right there help guys like khalil mack and you know michael smith make big plays, you know, and I'm okay with that. I'm an unselfish guy. 
When I say unseen, I really mean it. Most people are never gonna know what really goes down there in the trenches when you're at the line of scrimmage fighting for yards, sometimes inches. Mm -hmm. So give us a little insight into the down and dirty that goes on when you're face to face with your opponent and give us some color so people understand it's not so boring down there in the trenches. Oh no, it's, um, it's both, like each side of the ball is your, it's your job first of all. And it's your will versus his will. And you gotta, you gotta come with that mindset. You gotta put your hands in the ground and you know, fire up, load up real, you know, powerful and get off the ball and just smack someone, you know. It's really, it's violent. <laughs> like if you stuck your hand in there, I'm sure it'll get like, it'll be swollen, you know, like it's violent. So you're obviously extremely talented at what you do. And I'm a firm believer that it takes a certain mindset to be a great defensive player. How has the philosophy that you use on the field translated off the field and how has that affected your approach to your day-to-day -day life, especially when you're fighting for something or working towards a goal? Yeah, every year, like professional ball, I mean, just period, um, football period, I mean, you gotta work hard every day. And like the coaches, they, they, they expect nothing less. You know, they expect you to work hard every day and to do your job every day. And so that, you know, when it comes to like real life, um, when it comes to you doing something, you're gonna do it because you do it every day. You gotta do, you know, you, you're held accountable every day. And so um, those things help you in life. And when you're going through adversity, you know, it just helps you push through, like, you know, uh, it could be worse, you know, <laughs> yeah. So. Um, the Raiders are a much different looking team this season than they were last year. And it's obvious that there's a change in energy on the sidelines under Del Rio's watch. What is it like for you to get to be part of this group of individuals doing such positive things, working collectively towards a team goal? How's that been for you as a player in the NFL? It's been good. I mean, when, I, when we first got here, me and the other rookies that came in with me, and we were just like, you know, we're going to be a part of the change of the Raiders. We already knew uh, that Mr. McKenzie and, and the rest of the organization was you know, they're trying to lay bricks and, and we're trying to, you know, build the program up. And, and when we brought in Coach Del Rio, he bring in, like, a different energy. He knows what he's doing. And um, he, he brought a lot of fun staff and a staff that mean business, you know. So uh, that's been helping us a lot. And um, right now we're just trying to make sure we just stack the wins and, and keep pushing. Well, we appreciate you here in Oakland. Thank you for the contributions you're making to the team. And good luck this weekend. Thank you. Until next week, this has been Lorelai Suarez with Inbounds with the Oakland Raiders. Thanks for tuning in.